morning guys, we are now officially on the South Island in New Zealand with our van. We got here a couple days ago, we took the ferry over. Today we are doing our first proper mountain hike in New Zealand, or at least on the South Island. We spent the whole day yesterday just kind of chilling at a campsite and planning, so we're super stoked to get to it. We are hiking up to the Bushline Hut at Mount Robert, taking the pinch gut and paddy track, I think it's called. We're super prepared. Anyways, it's about like nine kilometers. Should take like five, maybe six hours, including filming and stuff. <laughs> but should be good. Here we go. Time to get our butts whooped by mountains. <laughs> We're not bird experts by any means, so we can't tell you what kind of birds they are. Maybe some of you out there can identify them based off their call, but their song is so pretty. So almost immediately on the pinch gut track, you get this incredible view of Rotoiti Lake. I hope I'm saying that right. It's made us want roti all morning though. Cause we had oatmeal and oatmeal sucks at filling you up. And we're fatties. It looks like we are just about reaching the end of the sunny switchbacks. I think that was probably like a kilometer, maybe. I lied, there was probably about another 50% of what we had already done. But I want to say that now we're actually out of it. Can't get enough of the beautiful songbirds that are singing to us as we hike up here. One of the nice parts about owning the van is that unlike the previous road trip where we just brought like bulk bagels and like boring stuff on hikes, we actually are responsible and make like sandwiches now. So we've slightly stepped up our game. I know, it sounds so silly. We went from just like bulk bagels and now we have a sandwich with literally two things on it. Hey, I'll take it. It's an improvement. <laughs> it is. Cheers, Blake, Rotoiti, Roti, whatever Blake you are. Well, I'm sure you can hear it. The nice part about getting up here after the hot hike is that there is a very cool breeze that is just blowing through every sweaty part of my body. There's a little like alpine hut where you can relax. We made it to the end of the Pinch Gut Trail and we are now starting onto Patty's track. We're headed over to the Bushline Hut. Uh, the one we just passed was called like the Relax Hut. I think it's just a day hiker hut. Like if it's bad weather, you can take shelter sort of thing. Whereas this one you can book and you can actually stay overnight in. One thing we were told about this trail, at least through reading comments and stuff, is that the Pinch Gut Trail is like mostly shady and uphill. This side, Patty's track on the other hand, is mostly exposed. As you can see, Alana's like way down there somewhere and it's all just flat and exposed. Doing the Pinch Gut Trail up is slightly easier because you're doing the hard work in more shade. I'm still not over how delicious that super simple sandwich was. I forgot how good sandwiches taste when you hike up a mountain and eat them at the top. It's just, you can't compete with that. We 
We are at the Bushline Hut along the Paddy's Track. Not a bad place to stay. Definitely not. Not that we're staying here, but good to know what to expect when we do get to a cabin. Yeah, this, if this is what the New Zealand backpacking huts are all like, I think we could uh, look forward to some better sleeps than our sleeping pads. <laughs> Definitely. Well, that's a loo with a view. There goes Alana. And down there, you can see there's like a track that winds. And that is where we are heading. How are you doing back there? Good, we've almost made it. Uh, when you come out from the second uh, Paddy's track, you actually get spat out at the lower parking lot. So we are making our way up to the higher parking lot. I'm feeling very tired. I never ate my sandwich, so I'm so excited to do that when we get to the van. Oh no. My <laughs> sandwich. That's all you wanted the whole hike. <laughs> yeah, the bag ripped. I mean, I'd eat it, but that's not really saying much. Okay, so after a minor sandwich mishap. R.I.P. sandwich. <laughs> we, uh, we drove and we're on our way to our, our campsite for the night, but we are at Maruia. Mar is there a sign around me to help me? Maruia. But we realized we didn't really talk about like what we thought of the hike. And overall, I would say like it was a, not like a crazy hard hike. Like if you've done any mountain hiking, you'll be fine. Yeah, it was a good um, foray back into mountain hiking for us. Um, the only thing that we noticed that was sort of challenging is because it is our first mountain hike in New Zealand, the altitude, couldn't take that deep breath like we are used to. You know, when, you're, we, when we were hiking in Hawaii, that was no problem. But overall, we really enjoyed it. It had nice, diverse scenery with the lakes and the other mountains, and we definitely recommend it. Oh, and one thing we would recommend for sure is doing the Pinch Gut Trail first. You get kind of like pretty good views, and you get the hard part out of the way. And then when you come down on Patty's track, you get that like amazing vista. So we'd recommend doing it that way rather than the other way around. And I also suggest putting your sandwich in a container and not a faulty Ziploc bag. Yeah, glad we're looking at you. We want a refund. Oh yeah, that swagger. Work it. You're on the catwalk. Free bridge. To our fellow freedom campers, this is also a freedom camping spot. Not too shabby. Seen it. Check. We're not actually that spoiled. It's super cool, but we are just in a bit of a rush because we gotta get to our campsite before it gets dark. So we use campermates to get around New Zealand and along our route, one of the things that Alana found on campermates was this little rest stop. And uh, we were just getting out to stretch our legs and we saw that it was apparently a scenic lookout point, which is a huge understatement. This is freaking gorgeous. Check this out. Just a casual rest stop with like a giant, amazing mountain that's being hit by the sun perfectly right now. So we're gonna take some pictures of it. Alan is already on it. Well guys, we have arrived at our campsite and like most nights in the van, it is ending with ramen. And that is still a hiking and camping favorite of ours. It's just, Oh, it's a warm bowl of deliciousness at the end of the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today. Um, you know, we're going to be hiking all throughout New Zealand. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, please subscribe. We'd love to have you around. And we will catch you guys in the next episode. Okay, before we fully say goodnight, I just had to show you guys this insane sunset that we're getting at our campsite right now. And then it's bye for real.